Hi. Hi there. So are these your seniors or who are the kids? These are my seniors. They want to come say hi. Yeah, come on, come on. That's why you're here. Okay, I'm gonna move and they're gonna they wanna just say hi. Really? You're gonna be dorky. Hello. Go, go say hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Here. Just we're we're like seven minutes before we're gonna start, but here. This is Chris Law. Hi. Oh, wait, wait. You guys wanna see? Oh, maybe I sh I should just project it, right? Yeah, my students actually write to your you guys a lot. My students are at Judge, so uh, we write uh, comments to you guys a lot. Awesome. And and we really we need I, we need to get a youth voices live thing going on where we do so one of you one of you guys could start a webcast like this like you meet once a week and just talk to other students. You hear that, guys? So, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Okay, L lots of affirmation of yay. That was a yay, yeah. Yes. Great. They're very excited. Hey, don't be shy. I'm not shy. Hey, what you learning? We can't You can, you can. <laughs> Come here, tell us what you're learning. <laughs> all right, Hajar wants to tell you all about it. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Hi, y'all. Hey, y'all. Yeah. This is where you're at. Oh, I'm say hi. Hello. <laughs> okay. So tell them what you're learning. What was the question? What we learn about in English four? Either or. Oh, uh, and okay. So in English four, we're reading Native Son, and we are in book three. Hey. Right. Yeah. And. <laughs> what about your senior project? Oh, um, what well, my senior project is about is child labor. No, I mean not child labor. <laughs> child marriage. Uh, when young uh, young girls, yeah, when young girls get married at uh, in young, uh, when they're young, and uh, I'm focusing it on Yem in Yemen because I'm from Yemen. Oh. Ask her if she's read I Am Najud. Okay, you ask her. Okay, okay. hi. Oh, am I like way up there? Yeah, you're there. I want to be in your face. Um, I'm wondering if you have read I Am Najud, N O J O O D. Yes. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I actually spoke about it and I gave quotes that she said. In my senior paper. Awesome. Cool. What did you like about that book? Uh, I have not read it, oh. but one of my freshman students has read it and loved oh, it, nice. and then gave a book talk on it to the entire class. Cool. So, okay. anybody else? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, to breathe here. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. See, they don't know we remote. I'm so glad you couldn't make it here, Joe. This is more fun. I, I'm telling fun. you, I'm trying to find the positive. Here's one right here. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Hello. That's what I look like. Go okay. ahead. We're, talk about your senior project, folks. Oh, tell them. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I know they can see me. I can see them, too. <laughs> see? Okay. If you'd like to, would you like to tell us about your senior project? Yes, she would love to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, Will, you want to say hi? <laughs> hi. Hi. Oh, I like your shirt. <laughs> your shirt? My yes. name tag? No, your jacket. <laughs> My jacket. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can you read my blog? So, seriously, what's your senior project on? What's your question? Um, my senior project is on teen caregivers in an African American home. So, and, and what's the issue there? Uh, what's my issue? Maintaining academic, <laughs> Maintaining academic success. Uh, cool. How did you get connected to that question? Um, because I take care of my younger siblings. Cool. Oh. How young are they? Do you mind us asking? Thirteen and five. Oh, okay. Who's harder, the five-year-old or the thirteen-year-old? Both. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> All right. 
So we should start officially here in a second. Do they need to go to class, Joe? No. Yes, you can go now. <laughs> <laughs> you think it, it was, was like a rhetorical question? Torture or them about rhetorical questions? <laughs> yeah, right. Um, they have to. They will be shifting at 10:54, but I'll mute myself. So. Oh wait. 10.54, yeah, so, oh no, it's great that they're around then. Yeah, they're, they're, they're listening, definitely. if that's okay. Oh, they can do more than that. That's, okay. I mean, should we, this is not the order we were going to do this in, but since they're here now, <laughs> would anybody else like to jump in and do it? Do you guys mind? Is this okay? This is um, Joe's students, and he's, uh, one, the, the, their posts are up all around us. Hi, I'm Paul Allison. <laughs> and we're on, we're online, we're live, and uh, we're on a hangout with, Joe Paricio and Young Chan, did I get Juan, Young Wan Choi, um, and Paul O oh has been working with them, <laughs> and, um, and Hi, we've everybody. been working on new voices. Um, the posts um, from these students are one of the posts are all around us here, um, and we're gonna get a chance to look at them in more detail. But Joe, as long do you want to? Yeah, we're jumping right in. Uh, uh, let's do it. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about what the senior project is and then see if anybody else would like to come talk about it before they have to go to their next class? Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, it's very timely that this is happening right now because we were rushing to go over what the draft one process is. And so their state of mind right now is very genuine in terms of anxiety and apprehension. And you're catching them at a great moment. So mm -hmm. I'd love to have a couple of them come on and talk about, talk about that in the real. Um, the senior project here at Fremont High, uh, there's three academies, but we all follow a similar theme, and it's all along the lines of social equity, and then uh, we're moving into the realm of social change, so the kids actively uh, becoming civically engaged and then going into the community somehow, whether uh, virtually or physically, and, and enacting small change. And so the research process takes all year, um, and they do a massive exhibition they do a massive exhibition uh, May 21st or 22nd this year, and they present that to a live audience of teachers, alumni, community folks. So they get a lot of oral presentation practice this year. And then they also have to do it virtually, so they, they, know, they learn how to construct a webinar. And um, yeah, so it's a huge project that they then have to do in a class where they're also doing senior English which is why they all look like they're shell-shocked when they come up here. So, so we, w we had planned to have people start with some writing, so please get ready to do some writing. Okay. But at, and we can do that, Joe, but is there anybody else who would like to volunteer? Don't force them. I'm not. <laughs> I'm teasing. She really wanted to come up here, Shabri. Don't let her fool you. Uh, uh, is there anybody else that wants to come up and maybe ask folks to look at their blogs when they are able to? Or just tell us about your project. Or to tell about your project, DJ, come on. Okay, I've got one kiddo. Cool. Come on, DJ. Okay. This is on my set, and it's public, and it's being recorded. Yeah. And you got to view. Yeah. Yeah. And you are. You all signed your permission slips, I assume. Oh yeah, we have all signed the waiver. Very yeah. good. Hello. You left. Hey, it. how's it going? Um, <laughs> oh, hi. Welcome. Introduce yourself a little bit. Oh, my name is Dijon Lee Willer, and my senior project is about how young athletes overcome injuries of their future to make it to the NFL. Wow. So, what what inspired that for you? Uh, can you say that again? Yeah, I, I'll ask it better. <laughs> Where did that idea come from to to do research on that? Uh, because um, I like football. Plus, like I had got injured. Like when I was young, playing football, so like, because people and like society, they always want to like make it big, but some don't, because injury affect them. Anybody here want to have a question quickly? <laughs> Feel free. I didn't warn them that I was going to ask that. Yeah, good. Did you um? Introduce yourself. If you don't hey, mind. I'm Stephanie West Puckett, and I teach writing at East Carolina University in Eastern North Carolina, the Pirates. Oh. If, you, if you know our sports team. Um, <laughs> so I was wondering if you looked at particular athletes um, or in a particular sport or um, so how you kind of went about uh, researching and finding out about your topic. Um, I chose football because football is like the most likely sport to get injured on. So like 
that's why I chose that sport. You still playing football? Um, no, not right now. And did you look at any um, NFL football players and kind of injuries they'd had earlier in their career? Um, yeah, I looked at some like uh, Drew Brees, Tom Brady, um, like uh, Aaron Rodgers, and you know, like quarterbacks because they're the most likely to take the contact with the ball. Cool. So one of the hard questions that we hope to get into as we can continue talking is, and maybe you've thought about it, how is this going to end up being some sort of civic action or service in some way for you? Do you have any ideas about that yet? Uh, <laughs> it's okay if you don't. Yeah. It's a hard question for all of us. Yeah, I take ideas. 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 Hi, my name is Carrie Deal. I teach at Maryville High School in Phoenix, Arizona, and there is a lot of there are a lot of older athletes who played football in the 60s, 70s, and 80s who are suffering from uh, memory loss and early onset of dementia. Um, so something you might think about doing is how the helmets have caused injuries like that in earlier decades versus what the helmets and the protection is like now with the big movement around protecting football players from concussions and such. Oh, nice. yeah, thank you. And I probably talked too fast, sorry. <laughs> you have any thoughts? Is there anybody else who wants to join us from your class? Yeah. Anybody else? Oh, thank you all. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. They, they, they're, all, they're all asking if, if you wouldn't mind reading their blogs on our page. That's where yeah. some of them are really shy, but that's where they've also put a lot of their work. So you can yep. get a, a virtual peek. We are going to do that. Yep. Cool. Thank you. So thank you. Um, why don't we shift to what we had planned, <laughs> if that makes some sense? Um, and there are two places right up here. Um, on a piece of paper or um, online or wherever you can do some writing, we want you to free write, and we want you to free write about one of these three things. It's over here. If you're looking this way, it's over there. Okay, put it up like. So ed either educating for democracy, what does that look like? What's that mean to you? Or democracy in the digital age? How has democracy changed in the digital age? Think about that. Uh, just free write about that, um, whatever comes to your head for five minutes, ten minutes here. Or educating in the digital age. Okay, choose any one of those and only focus on that, those, that pairing for now. Fair enough? So, I won't put up the timer, well maybe I will. <laughs> All right, so you are free writing um, for 10 minutes. I'm going to set the timer for 9. This is my...